Hey guys, my name is Carl Golden and welcome back to Golden Studios. Today we're looking at one of the hardest riffs by Avenge Sevenfold. We've previously looked at Metallica's hardest riff, Stevie Ray Vaughan's hardest riff, and Megadeth's. Some of you guys suggested other riffs that are much harder. I can look at that in the future. So don't worry if today I play a riff that you think is not the hardest. I can look at that in another video. So one of the hardest Avenge Sevenfold riffs that I chose to look at today is from the song Exist. A very long song, may not be one of their most popular songs, but there's a riff that comes in around 3 minute 30, which is killer, very hard to play. The reason for me, this is one of their hardest riffs, like all the others, it's at a very fast tempo, but also, it's not your usual riff that does 8th notes or 16th notes, it's got triplets in there. Some more techniques involved in this one, we're going to do an alternate picking, but we're also going to be incorporating a little bit of sweet picking. But don't panic if you can't sweet pick, I'm going to go through everything, you're only going to be sweet picking over 3 of the top strings. If you're a beginner or an intermediate player looking to learn this riff, I will teach you it super slow and show you everything you need to know. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the idea of this series is to help you guys learn some of the hardest riffs out there and also to help me. I'm using these videos myself to refer back to when I want to learn some hard riffs and play along to the backing tracks from a slow tempo to a fast one and see how I progress over the coming weeks, whether I'm getting faster or slower I should hopefully be getting faster with practice. For those of you badass mofos who already know how to play this riff, feel free to skip ahead to the backing track, but please let me know how you got on. I would have preferred today to use my Chapman guitar, my ML1, but it has a Floyd Rose, so it's a pain in the bottom to set up for drop D. So instead, I decided to use my Shergold guitar, which has humbuckers. I've got some um, Seymour Duncans in here, so that should come relatively close to their sound. As with all these videos, I'm going through my Boss Katana 50. If you'd like to download the preset, you can do for free on my website. Just go to www.carlgolden.org and go to the free download section. You can also download my Metallica, my Slash, my Stevie Ray Vaughan and my Megadeth presets. If you sign up to my mailing list as well, you also get a free Guns N' Roses backing track and the tabs to learn and play along with that. Okay, so next up, let's go through the riff really slowly and work out what's going on. Okay, so before we even start learning this riff, make sure your guitar is tuned to drop D. And that means your low E string is tuned to a D and sounds like this. You can do this using a tuner or you can just tune up to your D string because they both should sound the same. Then you've got your chugs. This riff is played over eight bars. The first seven bars are in 4-4, four, four. the last one is in 6-4. Four. So 4-4 four, four obviously goes one, two, three, four. Or with eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. And with triplets, one and a two and a three and a four and. A. If you always do 16th notes, but with, there's no 16th notes in this, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Sorry if you guys already know this, skip ahead of course. With 6-4, the time would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. With 8th notes, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and. Triplets, 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and a 6 and a. 16th notes, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 6 E and a. You guys may already know about all this, so I apologise if this is just annoying. So I'm going to break this up into bars of two, so we can go through four different sections. As I mentioned earlier, there is some sweet picking in this. Don't panic, I'm going to show you how I approach it. We're going to play it very slow, and I'm going to show you what to do with your right hand. All the sweet picking parts in this riff are using the diminished arpeggio, which sounds like this. And it basically just goes either down or up. 
in different positions on the neck. So it's not as scary as it sounds. Pay very close attention to your right hand. You should see on the screen whether it's a down or up stroke and it should explain it in the tabs what each of them mean. So pay close attention to that. If you look into the music notation, it actually tells you what fingers you should be using, where it's one, two, three, four with your left hand. Okay, so I'm gonna play the first two bars super slow. So the first part of the riff is kind of chuggy. The rhythm might throw you off a bit. It's bam, 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 bam. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars and like Darth Vader's march. I'm gonna repeat it a couple of times so you can play along. So the first part of the riff, you're obviously palm muting, and when you get to arpeggio, you don't need to palm mute anymore. So playing this first arpeggio, you wanna be going down, 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 up. You can practice without actually playing your left hand. With your right hand, you wanna go down, 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 up. So when we're doing the hammer on, you wanna rest your right hand on the A string after you've done the down stroke, so. Then it's ready for your next down pick on the A string, so. Down pick, rest on the A string, pick the A string downwards, rest on the D string, play the next D string. Now you wanna go up, you can rest on the G string, up. Down, 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 up. You can keep practicing that really slowly till you nail it. Keep repeating that same lick. So that's actually used twice in the riff. So if you've learned that, you've already learned 50% of the riff. Let's play the next two bars. Here we go. So what you'll notice is with this second part, all the chugs and the palm mutes are exactly the same. The only difference is you're now descending instead of ascending with the diminished arpeggio. So what you want to practice is down, up, up, up. Starting on the D string, down, up, up, up. So down, up, up. Down, up, up, up. So you're basically doing the complete opposite of what you just did. So let's practice that very slowly. Down. The last one you're doing a pull off instead of a hammer on like you did at the beginning of the other one. Keep practicing that in a row. You'll be surprised how quick you'll get that if you just practice along with a metronome that a couple of times. Let's play that riff a couple of times then. Okay, so bars five and six are exactly the same as bars one and two. So you've learned 75% of the song. Once again, these last two bars, you'll notice the first part is exactly the same, the chugging. The only difference is now, we're actually gonna be descending and ascending the last arpeggios. So let's go through that. So basically, the first part of this, you're playing the second riff exactly the same but you're going to then ascend the diminished arpeggio from the first fret so we're going to be playing the same thing down up 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 down up 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 yeah <laughs> And with this second arpeggio, we're actually going to be barring the first fret just to get a chord in there. The hammer on. So the same as the first riff for the second part, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. 
I've just noticed actually when you are playing the second one, it's a bit more difficult. You can't rest on the A strings. You're playing a chord. So let's work out what I'm doing. So my hand, my right hand's kind of floating after I do the first chord, but because you're playing a hammer on, you have time to put your finger back in position for the next downstroke on the A string. So all together, keep repeating those two licks together. Okay, so let's play all eight bars together super slow. Some of my picking might have changed slightly there. It's really hard to play this riff slow. Okay, so that's all the parts of the riff you need to learn. Once you can play that all together quite consistently at a relatively slow tempo, give the backing track a try and see how far you get. As always, the idea is try and get as far along with the backing track as you can until you mess up or you can't play it anymore. Stop the backing track, put your metronome on, and then set that to 10 BPM slower than where you messed up. Keep practicing at that tempo until you nail it 10 or 20 times. Then you're ready to go back to the backing track and see if you get further than you did before. You most likely will, as your hand has been trained to play that riff at a faster speed. Eventually, you'll get super fast to the riff and you'll thank me for becoming a guitar god. Let me know you get on. Let's get on with it. Let's get to the backing track.
don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also the notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave any kind of comment or don't comment but most importantly let me know if you're enjoying these videos, let me know how you're getting on, I love to hear about how my videos are helping or not helping, if the series is bad I'll work on something else. Anyway. Big thanks to these guys on my Patrons. They support me for five or seven dollars a month and in return they get their lovely names posted after all my videos for as long as they support me. But also they get back in tracks and tabs. There's over a hundred, maybe two hundred on there now for my previous videos, for this video, for my future videos. Actually for today's video you can download the backing track on there. You can also get the uh, Guitar Pro tabs for it if you want to play along with that. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you for another one very soon.